Google Workspace for Education no longer offers free unlimited storage. When will your district run out of space? Hi, my name is John Sowash. Welcome back to the Google Admin Bootcamp. In early 2021, Google announced that it was moving away from free unlimited storage, which frankly was an unbelievable deal. I don't know who was in charge of managing the storage at Google, but they were probably having a nervous breakdown with the amount of stuff we've been saving to Google Drive. Starting in July 2022, all Google Workspace for Education domains will be limited to a 100 terabyte pooled storage. That means all of the users in your domain collectively have 100 terabytes of space. It doesn't matter how much an individual user utilizes as long as your district as a whole stays under that 100 terabyte limit. Now, how much is 100 terabytes? Well, according to Google, that should be sufficient for more than 100 million Google documents, 8 million presentations, or 400,000 hours of video. When will your district run out of storage space? The good news is that it's pretty easy to figure that out. Let's head over to the admin console. I'm on the home screen right now, and I'm gonna scroll down to this option here that says reports. And we're gonna spend uh, a little bit of time chatting about this reports section. Let's open that up, and right on the front, it's going to show us how much storage you are currently using. So I only have a few users in my domain. I'm the primary user and I have 403 gigabytes. I haven't even cracked the 100 terabyte limit. So this is very useful right there that'll tell you at a glance where you are at currently. Now let's open that up and take a closer look at those details. This is gonna show us which specific Google services um, we're utilizing that space in. Obviously, for me, it's almost 100% uh, Google Drive, 99.9% .9 Drive uh, data. Now, eventually, you're going to run out of space. Even if you're a tiny district, if you don't delete your users, if you don't do any uh, data management, eventually, you're going to hit it. And you can use this graph to predict when that will happen. Now, for some of you, if you're a small school, it might be 100 years into the future and you'll be like, I'm retired and I'm out. So I don't even have to worry about it. But if you are a large district, if you are a university, you might be very close to that storage limit. Now, deleting users will remove that data and lower your storage cap. So if you've not been in the habit of deleting old users, students who have left your um, district, it might be time to clean that out, get rid of those old users. My guess is that there's a very small number of users in your organization that are consuming the majority of your storage capacity. We can take a look to see who is storing the most information. I'm going to stay right here on this uh, screen, but I'm going to scroll down to the user reports and I want to take a look at the user apps usage report. Okay, you may have to poke around a little bit to uh, to locate that, but let's uh, let's dive in there and check that out. This is going to show all of my users and a whole bunch of information about them. For now, I'm really just interested in this column here, total storage used. You may have to click this little filter icon over there to make sure that that column is visible. Now I can go ahead and further refine this. I'm gonna add a filter up here. We're gonna filter by storage used uh, in megabytes. And, you know, just put a number in there, let's say greater than 10, thousand megabytes, if I have my math correctly, would be 10 gigabytes, which is still not that much uh, space. So it's only going to show me users who have at least 10 gigs of storage, and in my case, that's only three. By filtering out your users and looking at the storage use, you can probably figure out who your greatest um, users are, and there's a few things that you can do to help them and to make sure that your district stays under that 100 terabyte limit. Google is providing several ways that districts can purchase additional storage capacity. Now there's two different upgrades. One of them I really like and I think it's a great deal. The other one is 
Okay, let's take a look at both of them. The first option is the teaching and learning upgrade. This option adds an additional 100 gigabytes of storage per user and some other nice features like premium Google Meet and some additional Google Classroom features. Now, the interesting thing about this option is that it's a flexible licensing model. You can purchase this upgrade for as many or as few users as you want. You don't have to purchase it for everyone in your district. So by going into the admin console, looking at the reports, finding out who your biggest storage users are, you can purchase this upgrade for them, increasing your overall storage capacity so that other users don't run out of space. I think this is a great deal. At $48 a year, it's hard to beat. And you can buy one or a thousand of these. Now, the other option is the Education Plus upgrade. This uh, offers an additional 20 gigabytes of storage per user, as well as some other great features. The cost for this one is $4 per user per month. Also comes out to about $50 a year. However, you must purchase this upgrade for your entire uh, student body. Teacher accounts are included for free, but all students must receive this upgrade. This will be a massive increase in storage, 20 gigabytes times however many users uh, you have, but will be substantially more expensive uh, given the fact that you have to license your entire domain. There are several different options for you to consider. Many of you won't even need one of these upgrades uh, in the near future, but you can always go into the Avid Console and track your storage usage there. If you enjoyed this video and want more Google Admin tips like this, check out this video up here. And if you'd like to join me for a deep dive into the Google Admin Console, click down here to learn more about the Google Admin Bootcamp.